Boys of summer in the heart of the baseball season, and there are several Louisville bats that you're going to get a chance to know over the next few weeks. Sports anchor Dusty Baker is back in the dugout, this time with the bats outfielder, Reese Hines. We're back here in the dugout with Dusty Baker. I am pleased to be joined with Reese Hines. Reese, thank you for taking the time to talk to me here in the dugout. Obviously, here in Louisville, what a special opportunity it is. Take me through what it means to you to be a Louisville bat. Um, honestly, it's just, it's awesome to just uh, uh, see every year um, the growth. I've been blessed to be able to be at a new level every single year. And um, I mean, coming out here and obviously this beautiful park and having some having a lot of fans come out every single day and support us it's just it's been cool you're a florida guy uh, kind of take me through your growth in florida how that kind of led you to get into the game of baseball and eventually how in the world did resigns get to louisville kentucky <laughs> uh, so i grew up in a small town uh niceville florida um probably about fifteen thousand people and i mean most people know it by destin another town right next to it, great beaches um grew up by the beach you know it's, it's awesome my stepfather got me into baseball i was about three four years old grab grabbed the biggest bat i could possibly find dragged it out to the yard and um the rest was history really I mean, have you adjusted to being at this level and and kind of take me through that what's the mentality like of a resigns here in louisville kentucky um honestly it's it's been, a, it's been a tough struggle from the beginning. Um, I think every single year so far of me joining a new level, I've had, um, I've had my struggles just adjusting to the faster game, the faster pace game. But really, it's just going out, trusting your process, trust it and have fun. Like, if you're not having fun, uh, you shouldn't be playing the game. I, I got to ask, where do you go to eat, man? What does that look like for you? What's the day-to-day -day look like? I think the number one place I've been to the most probably is the Eagle. That is the best place to eat fried chicken in Louisville. Yeah, I, I actually, I found that spot um, in Cincinnati back in 2020 at COVID when I was at the alternate site. And that was like one of the only places open. So I door dash that place. If they bring it to me to my spot and um, so yeah, I think I probably go there three times a week, get their fried chicken sandwich, the fries. That's kind of that's kind of the go-to. Do you get the drumsticks there at all? I'll go fried chicken and the five drumsticks. It's a full meal, man. It really is. It's kind of big, so <laughs> you know, I can I can put down some food. Glad we got that covered. Uh, I got one last question for you here, Reese. For you, what does it mean to you to be at this level, play here in Louisville, play in front of these fans, knowing that that opportunity is here for you day in day out? Growing up, I don't think. Like, I didn't have a lot of people to look up to and when it came to that, and I just think that's the biggest thing is the youth, showing them that they can do what I do. Well, bring your kids out here. They got a guy to look up to to inspire them and hit some dingers in the process. Resigns, thanks so much for joining me, man. Thank thanks for joining me in the dugout, and uh, we'll catch you on the field next time. Of course, I appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.